Hi, this character is a tech demo of a Uyghur man created using MetaHuman Creator from Epic Games. This was a test of tools and a workflow I developed in Maya to build a body control rig, apply motion capture data to the face and body, and bring it to Unreal Engine for rendering. Learn more in the links below about the Uyghur people who are facing genocide and continue watching this video to learn how this animation was created. Thank you. So here's a little test that I made using Unreal Engine and MetaHuman Creator. I created custom clothing, created tools for playing body, motion capture, facial motion capture, uh, basically round trip tools between Unreal and Maya. For the clothing, Amara Javed created the beautiful, intricate, embroidery designs which I then applied in the texture. So let's start off in Quixel Bridge and go to my custom made metahumans and select a character to export to Maya. So I'm going to click on the little gear icon in the lower right and change the export to Maya so that I can get a Maya source file and then just hit the export button and to export to Unreal again you just click on the gear button and choose Unreal and you would export to that. So once you get to Maya it asks you if you want to import the MetaHuman you just say yes. It takes longer than you know what you see in the video. I just sped up that part. What it gives you is a character model, the head and a body with multiple levels of detail and I'll just unhide the joints here and you can see that it has facial joints and it has body joints. So these are the deformation joints and then there is a another copy of the body joints called uh, root drivers and so these are driver joints that essentially are driving the deformation joints. But so it has a full facial control rig, but what it's lacking, at least currently, is a body control rig. And for that, I wrote some custom tools to create that. So I'm going to show you how to use my tool. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new shelf. You don't have to make a new shelf. It will install into whichever shelf you have open. So I'm going to go over here. I have unzipped the tool files. So we're going to look at meta body control. And within those files, there's an install Python file. All you have to do is drag that to your Maya viewport and it will install the script for you. And it creates this icon on whichever shelf you have open at the time. I'm going to go ahead and do that for the meta human face animation tool as well, which I'll go over later in this video. So drag that to the viewport, and there you go. You've got both tools. So it's very important that you run the body control tool on the file that you've exported from Bridge. Meaning it doesn't, it should not have any namespaces. It should not be referenced in. It should just be the way that that file comes in from Bridge. And then I just save it as version zero locally. Um, and that's optional. But all you have to do is click on the icon to create the body control rig. And it creates a duplicate skeleton with motion as the appended name. And it creates all these controls. So essentially you have an IK, FK um, setup for the arms and legs. And you can now animate the character or apply motion capture to it. So here I'm going to just show you how I get body motion capture data onto this rig. These tools are just custom. I haven't made them publicly available, but essentially I export the skeleton of the character as an FBX. I bring that into iPySoft and in iPySoft I'm able to retarget my motion capture to that skeleton and it's mapped like which joints correspond to which joints 
And so now you can see there's a green skeleton, which is the one I exported from Maya. And it has a motion capture on it, so I can check it against the motion capture that we're looking at. And then I export that FBX back to Maya. And so now you can see I have my motion capture skeleton in here. And it matches on the first frame. I had to export with the default pose on the first frame, which is an option in iPySoft. And then I can just apply the body motion capture. So it creates a bunch of constraints between the motion capture skeleton, you know, driving my other skeleton for the rig. I'll do the same with the hands. I used Breckel Hands Pro to record the motion capture. Then I use a tool of mine to just bake the motion capture onto the metahuman hands. So now you have a bunch of keyframes. You get your walk. And I've baked the animation onto the body control rig. And so now I can bake down the animation layers. And then I just reduce keys and adjust the animation and things the way that I want. Once I get that where I want it to be, then I can export my animation to Unreal. And bring it into sequence. And so one really important step to make sure that your um, animation from Maya is applied correctly is to double click on the animation that you've imported and up at the top you have to make sure that you're pointing to the correct body. And So how do you figure out which body is correct? You go to your blueprint for your metahuman, open that up and select body on the left there in the components and then you can see which body is being used by the skeletal mesh so you can see what the skeletal mesh is and we're going to apply that I'm just copying the name we can apply that to the animation file the animation FBX up at the top for retarget source and that's gonna make sure that you have the correct proportions I'm not sure exactly why we need to do that step, but without it, it changes the scale once you apply the animation to your metahuman. So back in the character blueprint, I'm going to show you how I added the custom clothing. So I had exported skinned clothing from Maya, skinned to the same skeleton that the body was skinned to, imported that FBX into Unreal, And then here, set master pose component is what I have the clothes plugged into and the body plugged into as well. And so that's in the construction script for the blueprint. And so in this case, I hid the clothing that came with the metahuman so that I still get a body that has all those underlying parts cut out and then I've replaced the clothing with my custom clothing. So for the character's clothing I ended up running a cloth simulation and uh, I ran a cloth simulation in Houdini for this. I also have the skin version of the clothing that I just showed so you know optionally you could use either. And I think the cloth simulation in this case adds a little bit of additional you know quality and detail to it though I probably could have gotten away with just the skinning for the simple kind of motion that's in this shot but for a cloth simulation I was able to just bring in the alembic cache as a geometry cache and apply my shader to it and then in the blueprint I hid the skin cloth for the facial animation I used an iPhone with Live Link and Unreal to record the facial performance. Using the take recorder I was able to record that within Unreal and then apply that 
as an animation track to the face. Then I was able to bake that to the control rig, the face control board control rig. And that gave me keyframes on all the controls. So the next step in the process was to go to File, Execute Python Script, navigate over to the export tool for Unreal that I've written under MetaFace Anim. And in Maya, you can take the MetaFace Anim tool, click on that, and it will ask you to select the file that you just exported out of Unreal. So we'll navigate over to that. It's a 2.8 megabyte file in this case. I'm just going to open that up. So it can take a little while depending on how large the file is. But essentially what the tool is doing is taking all the data that we exported out of Unreal for the facial rig and applying it to the facial control rig in Maya. So it's creating all those keyframes for all those channels. So now that it's done, I can scrub and you can see that the face is moving and you can see the facial controls, those yellow dots, moving as well. So you can easily add additional animation, you can add animation layers, you can reduce keys, you know, all the things that Maya has tools for. So to bring that data back into Unreal, we're going to select the facial controls set that comes with this Maya file. And we're going to export an FBX of that. Now, one way to make this process easier, this is a referenced file and a shot. So what I would do is simply import the reference and delete the namespace and then export it. You can easily create a tool to do that. But that will make it easier because the names will be a direct match for what you're importing onto which is the control board for the facial uh, like animation rig in the blueprint for your shot in Unreal. So you right click on that, import control rig FBX, navigate over to the FBX of the facial animation you exported out of Maya, open it up. It does have options for kind of replacing strings I haven't tried it, but I would guess that you could put the namespace in there and just replace it with nothing. And that should probably import just fine. But once you import it, you'll see that now you have your edited performance applied to your character in Unreal. So that was basically the purpose of creating these tools. I saw that there were a couple of steps in the current MetaHuman workflow that I wanted to add for the way that I like to work. And so I created a few tools and hopefully you've learned something about them in this video. If you're interested in purchasing them, they're certainly available. I'll have links in the description of this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And if you have anything to add to the conversation, maybe there's some cool stuff that you've discovered tinkering with metahumans that you know I don't know about. I would certainly love to learn more. Thank you.